Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, when we were talking about points that were outside of the circle. So for page 133, there's a couple things we discussed. Um, we discussed that when we have intersection, when we have angles of the intersection inside of a circle, that it's 1 half the sum of both arcs. We talked about when we had um, when we had angles of angles on the line, which is like a secant, which is one half of its uh, arc measure. And then we talked about three different angles when we had when we had a point from outside of the circle. We talked about what was how do you find the measure of angle u if you had two lines that were secant, two lines that were tangent, or one secant and one tangent, which is in this case. The formula for this for the measure of angle u is equal to 1 half. If you guys can remember, whenever you have a point outside of a circle that is creating an angle and you need to find the measure of the angle, when it's outside the circle, it's always 1 half of the large arc subtracted from the smaller arc, where here is my large arc and here is my smaller arc. When the angle was inside the circle, it was 1 half of the sum of the arc and its opposite arcs. So we need to be able to figure out what is SW. Can you repeat that about the outside curve? It's always for any point. It doesn't matter. We dealt with two tangents and two secants. It's always the large arc minus the small arc times 1 half. So it's SW subtracted from the arc TW. Now, we know what TW is. That's 60 degrees, right? Good. That's easy. But we don't know what SW is. Now, fortunately for us, we know that all around the circle is 360, right? So I could say um, arc SW plus 144 plus 60 degrees equals 360, right? Wouldn't you guys agree? All of these arcs add up to 360. Now I can just combine these. So arc SW plus 204 equals 360. Subtract 204, SW equals 156 degrees. So that's 156 degrees. Now, all I simply do is plug in my information. SW is 156 minus TW, which is 60. Do you have to write it like what? That's the formula. So I mean, that's the, what we have to use. And then I'm just plugging in what the measure of the arcs are. We don't, we're not trying to find SW. We're trying to find angle of U. We're trying to find the measure of this angle. So, huh? So 156 minus 60 is going to be 96. And 1 half of 96, 48. And there you go. Use the exact same formula and method to do question number seven. <laughs>